The bloc has repeatedly ruled out special deal for the financial services harboured in the City of London, which rake in billions for the economy by offering euro-clearing services. But the City of London Corporation's policy chairman Catherine McGuinness has claimed the EU may well beginning to falter as negotiations continue and a detailed settlement is proposed. London finances around 40 to 50 percent of the continent's financial services and it was hoped market access could be secured for the square mile. Speaking to City AM, she said, it is worrying that we've got an EU27 that isn't, for whatever reason, receptive, isn't signalling receptive messages at the moment on some of these key issues that we want to address as well, so I think we've got a lot of work to be done. GETTYCITY of London London manages around 40 to 50 percent of the continent's financial services but she added while the EU27 member states are very united on the whole, she warned this might change over the course of this year when people start looking at the details of what settlement is proposed. Her comments come as Britain prepares to launch a Brexit charm offensive in a bid to speak directly to EU member states and stop France's plot to lure city bankers after the UK leaves the Block. Philip Hammond will visit Sweden and the Netherlands before making his way to Spain and Portugal. He will also visit Norway. Although not an EU member, Oslo maintains close ties to the bloc, which could provide a blueprint for a future British deal. Get it, City are hoping to get a specialist deal for financial services. The Chancellor of the Exchequer hopes to break the Brexit deadlock and appeal directly to EU member states amid fears France is blocking talks. France has unveiled plans to lure city workers away from Britain after Brexit in a desperate attempt to make Paris Europe's financial centre. Minister of Finance and Economy Bruno Le Maire said France's sites are on JP Morgan, Bank of America and Goldman Sachs, which all have offices in London, and in a veiled swipe at French officials who have repeatedly said Paris' main objective in Brexit negotiations was to maintain the unity of the 27 remaining countries and that the only point of contact for British diplomats should be Mr Barnier. David Davis will also visit allies. Get it. City of London chief believes EU unity may crumble as negotiations go on. Britain is hitting back and in a two-prong offensive. Brexit Secretary Mr Davis will visit allies across Europe in a fortnight of diplomacy designed alongside Mr Hammond, a government source told The Telegraph. We want member states to have more of a say, it's to the benefit that the trading relationship with the EU exists, the people in the Commission have more of a religious view of Europe, the preservation of the project is the most important thing for them, even if it damages the European Union. France is the most negative of the member states, they are taking a very hard line, they see it as an opportunity to take business from us but it's not going to work.